Hey y'all, we're back with more of The Sims 1. I don't even remember what we were doing. Where, where is our cat, by the way? Last time we got Anubis, uh-oh. So this time I'm gonna take a look, maybe a little bit, at some stuff from Live and Large. L most of the stuff from Live and Large is pretty expensive. That, that was the whole point, is like you're a rich Sim. Oh, look at this, auto snapshot. Automatically places a photo in the photo album when significant events occurred. Have any significant events occurred? No. Immediately this music is very nostalgic. I used to, oh my gosh, I used to make these photo albums for my Sims. So from now on, and we're gonna do a large one. From now on, we're gonna be taking photos when anything really important or cool happens. And then maybe at the end of the Let's Play, we can like go back and look at all the cool stuff that's happened. Oh, <gasps> yay! Promoted to Conspiracy Theorist. <laughs> this is a fun track. They're out to get you and you know it. That suspicious warning on the phone the other night proved it too. We're gonna take a quick detour. Okay, so this is our neighborhood and it's pretty good. I'm going to create a family. Am I gonna, I think I'm gonna create a couple of families because there's a couple of lots here that are empty. Now, we have Michael Bachelor. Let's, let's stick him somewhere. Let's like build, let's build Michael Bachelor like a quick house, real quick. <laughs> There. That's nice. Okay, now let's make a family. Filler. <laughs> They're filler. I don't make a lot of male sims. Kind of dig that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. He just looks like a Jonathan, doesn't he? All the way active. And I'm gonna say he's a neat freak. Maybe it'll be a gay couple. Just in honor of the fact that every character I made in the original Sims was gay. What are these clothes? What packs are these from? Yes, but it's, oh, let's make Nick Fury. And they have a kid, they have two kids. All right, they have this Harry Potter looking dude named Billy. And he's just like a nerd, you know? Let's make her an adult. Let's make her like really cool and stylish. She was like a foster kid they brought in. Now she's like helping out with Billy. I like that. That looks like a teenager. She's got like a belly button ring. She's very cool. Okay. All right, so this is the filler's house, but this is what it looks like, and it, they've got all the basic things. I think the most important thing that they need to have is a phone, and I realized that I forgot to give Michael a phone, so I'm gonna have to jump back in. He is $1 off from being able to buy this phone. All right, well, fine, we'll give him the, the, the corded phone. That's so sad. I'm sorry, Michael. So we're back and we have a promotion and we need to make friends, I think. Okay, we don't need friends yet, but we're, we're gonna need friends because I remember that being like a running theme with the jobs. So charisma and creativity. So yes, go ahead and pet your cat so that you're not so sad and lonely. We can have her do some charisma. Yeah, we already had her do a little bit just once when we were testing stuff. So creativity, we're gonna need her to buy some things. So on the creativity tab, um, the cheapest and sort of like the most basic is of course painting. And I do love the easel and I love painting. So like, let's pop that down. But uh, as sort of an exploration of live and large as much as possible, maybe we could try out the craft working table. Uh, and we can put this outside. Yeah, that's cool, that's fun. I like that, okay. Um, so yeah, let's, let's have her make a gnome and she can also do painting. I think this does creativity. It might do mechanical. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it does mechanical. It was under creativity, so I didn't think about it, but yeah, 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 it does mechanical. <gasps> what was that? Is it El Bandito? We have, we're getting a phone call? Hold up.
Is this because we're in the conspiracy theory track? Your psychic advisor has some very strong vibrations coming from your seventh house. You should stay away from building activities during the next week. Okay, so stop doing that. Let's go back to painting. That will give us actual creative skill anyway. Oh my gosh, the noise the painting makes is just horrible. Oh, a burglar. Okay, okay, I'm excited. I'm actually... I'm actually kind of pumped. I don't think that they're going to get very far because like I said, we have this, <laughs> we have this right outside the house. So it's going to sound, yeah, the second he walked into the lot, it sounded. So the cops will get here pretty quickly. He's gone. Yep. He didn't even take anything. A burglar has been captured. We need to take these objects as evidence. I don't think he actually took anything. Did he? He might have taken, like, the cat's food bowl. You have been reimbursed by your insurance for, oh my gosh, $2,625, simoleons. And a $1,000 bonus for the capture of this wanted criminal. What did he take? What am I missing? Oh, the TV. He doesn't need to go up to it, I guess. Now, if I pay that, I will not have made money on that transaction. So we're just going to give her the cheaper TV. <laughs> Heck yeah, we made some money just from sleeping. I really need to get her a table. After all of that last time, and I renovated the house multiple times, I still didn't get her a table, a place to eat. We should definitely see if we could get her together with Michael Bachelor. That would be pretty cool. Mostly so that we could have other Sims to do stuff with while she's doing whatever it is she's doing. Yeah. She started another fire. Don't you love that? Okay. Go here. Go here. She's she's not. I hope the cat's okay. How's the just doing? He's just chilling. He's fine. Let's swap out her bed so that she can get comfort while she sleeps because that one's not cutting it. It being so low, like the being such a cheap one, like let's see. Seven comfort, which is not, it, that's actually not bad, because, like, I, okay, wait, it's one above the lowest, it looks like. So, the no-tell motel, I don't think so. Eight is pretty good, and I think it matches her, like, little, <laughs> her tapestry. I actually like this a lot, and it adds to the decor of the room. Kind of goes with our like weird boho thing that we're doing too. I guess it's more of a cabin. I don't know. I don't keep a consistent look as you can tell. Okay, pick up that phone. Wow. Property tax refund, that's great. Paid for the bed. Yeah, there it is, study cooking. How could I forget that you just can read about cooking? All right, now hopefully she will be like setting herself on fire a lot less with level two cooking skills. I made these people in the neighborhood with the hope that maybe I could see them like walk by or something, but I have not really been paying attention to that. We'll just be patient and see, does the, we need to cancel our newspaper subscription. Can we not? If we call neighbor, since she's never met them, they're probably not on here, right? Because the newbies weren't on here. Wait a second. Speaking of the newbies. So this is kind of what I wanted was for people to come by. Bob newbie, just chilling. You're in your pajamas, but but yeah, I mean, let's talk. Let's. I mean, I'm nervous about complimenting now because like obviously that leads to romance. We don't want that. What we want is charisma. Maybe your charisma has to be at a certain point before you can... All right, he didn't like that. Well, this is good though. Okay, oh, I got too forward with Bob. I was just trying to be friendly. Ooh, we can sell our painting. Three simoleons. Great. I really want to meet Michael Bachelor. I mean, frankly, I'm not picky, but I want to make a family just because the family stuff is kind of fun. So yeah, okay. 
Let's call neighbor and let's see what our options are. Now, these are the people that we've met. Now, that was Brad. So we met Brad when we were in Old Town. And if you remember, he had like a lady kiss him. And I don't know if that was his wife or what's going on with that. Uh, and I don't know Eldon Hick either. Both of those seem fine. And then I know Bob. I think I'll call Brad over. I think he's our most eligible prospect. Hopefully he's not working. I didn't think about that. It's kind of the middle of the day on... Well, there are no weekdays in The Sims 1, but it's the middle of the day. No thanks, I've got to feed my llama. Okay, so we're not very close friends with Brad. I mean, we don't know who this guy is, but we can invite him over. I mean, why not? Let's wave. What's up? So we met, I assume we met in Old Town. That's fun. Not like a huge amount of options, huh? Look, I'm I'm making lunch. You can come on in. I don't have a table, but, you know, having lunch standing in the kitchen. I think that that's perfect. Yeah, all of these need to be watered, too. I should really hire a gardener. I should hire a gardener. I think I'm just going to miss work. Because going in with this mood, I think, is worse than not going in at all. Ooh, so cockroaches came with Live and Large, and... I left this for too long, and it's all gross, and that's why you need to clean. Kiddos, that's why you gotta clean. Yeah. It does bring our social up, so that's the good news. Oh no! She passed out on the floor. She was just too tired. I thought I could get her cleaned up and go into the bathroom and everything before she went to sleep, but no, she passed it on the floor. Is all that hanging out with Eldon today? He just like absolutely ruined our day. She's so sad that she can't even sleep. She had to wake up to cry. We are probably going to inadvertently get a visit from the sad clown because she just keeps crying. I think you have to be a lot sadder for that to happen. But she has nothing. Like, we could become friends with Carrie the mail carrier. That's... that's a, was that a joke? Carrie the mail carrier? I don't think I ever got that. I had such high hopes for this playthrough. I was like, I now I'm ready for how difficult The Sims 1 is. Uh, okay. I know everything's awful, but you need to go to work. We're also going to hire a maid. Alright, we're gonna get her fun up a little bit, and then we are gonna head out I don't know. We'll head out probably to Old Town. Yes. So we can get an espresso and up our energy. No. Was that Brad? Screw you, Brad. You don't want to be friends. So yeah, we get an espresso. We get a pastry. Let's just talk. She's thinking about me. Let's see our interests and if we have stuff in common. How are you? That isn't interesting. That hasn't... I haven't seen that pop up on anything. Do we have like a... Maybe we have a connection with her. <laughs> so I like kissing. Romance. She's not into romance. Okay. Is Miss Lucille, does she do, I feel like Miss Lucille does fortunes. Yeah, she does, she does, she does. You can read pet. Let's read Anubis. Let's get Anubis read, just like while we're here. We are a psychic who is going to talk to a psychic. I see, I, I didn't know when we talked to her, but... I see a raccoon attacking your trash can at home. It's waking up everyone in the house and making a total mess, but lo, this pet will thwart the raccoon and chase it away. That's amazing. And then let's get our palm red. So I just spent like $100 on Miss Lucille. <laughs> your career is not going to advance itself and you need to be a bit more active about making friends and influencing people. I'm trying. That's why we're here, Miss Lucille. Okay, well, let's go somewhere else. Let's go somewhere else because this isn't working. Yeah, I'm just mostly seeing NPCs. It's Eldon. Hey, Eldon. We know Eldon. We're gonna go talk to Eldon. Okay, and now we're done. And she's out. Yeah, that makes sense. You know what we should do? One thing that we can do with busting out right now is we can do the genie lamp. Okay, so I think, I, th I do not remember if this is true, but I feel like being in a better mood gives you a better chance for the genie's stuff to really work. I just turned it off and then turned it back on. But yeah, so we're gonna clean it. And 
see what happens. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up, dude? Let's take a picture of this. This seems like... <gasps> Greetings, mortal. I see conflict in you. Your heart pulls one way and your thoughts of wealth another. I shall summon for the great blessing on your house, but you must decide. We definitely wish for love. We wish for love. This is why we did this. I wanted love. Yeah. Definitely. I didn't really hit it at a good time, but that'll be our first. That'll be the first thing. He's not doing super great. I'm nervous. His stuff can go really badly. Eek! Um. Uh, hmm. Male or female? We have one female sim it could be. Um, let's cast it on a male sim. Not Mortimer! No! By the power of the lamp, the llama, and the everlasting light, I have commanded the next mortal you to lay eyes on you to be smitten with love. And it's Mortimer. No! No, I don't want to break up the goths. But let's see, did it work? No, I don't want to break up the goths. <gasps> oh my gosh. It worked. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I guess we stole Mortimer from Bella in this reality. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Oh, now he doesn't want to because he's married, of course. So let's see what our relationship is like. But that is, means friendship and that means love. I don't think we can like break him up with Bella unless we go in there and manually break him up, maybe? Maybe I can just get him to get me pregnant without <laughs> marrying him. Who says we need to be married? Not the Sims. See, he's talking about romance. He's into romance. I'm into romance. Me and Mortimer were, were made for each other. I've decided I'm going to be a homewrecker. That's what The Sims is all about. Hmm. I have a lot to think about. Well, her mood is really good. That's the, that's the good thing about all this. That affair is doing wonders for her mood. What a twist. What a twist that it was Mortimer, huh? Oh, promotion. Branching out on your own with to do more in-depth analysis of your customer's love life and family history is an interesting career change. Get to know your clients on a more personal level. Up the aura of mystery in your personal appearance and generally get away with being as odd as you like. Everyone expects it. Okay. So what does that mean exactly? We need more logic? That's, uh, that's a little surprising, actually. <laughs> oh, knowledge, probably. Um, checker set <laughs> is fun. The chess set is fun. More chess. The telescope is very pricey, but it does a good job. There's this, which is also from Live and Large, I believe. This is the, like, potion station home chemistry lab. And this has some, like, negative side effects, but it also has some really cool positive side effects. So that might be really fun to play with, actually. Yeah, let's try that out. It also says to up our mystique. Should we change the way we look? Maybe we can do that another time. Let's make a potion. We can't call Mortimer yet because it is like too early in the day. Ooh, look at her outfit that she wears for work. Can't really get a good angle on it, but look at that. That's about what I would have changed her outfit into. Okay, so she got a logic skill point for doing that. Oh, it exploded. Okay. And then maybe when we wake up, we can call Mortimer to come over. And you know what we should do is we should buy a hot tub because nothing get sims going like a hot tub. Ooh, this is like a sexy one. It can only be used by adults. They all can, I believe, yeah. So I don't think there's a difference between these two, except this one's more fun. Is that too much? We can just have a normal hot tub, I think. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh no, her new hours are, let's see what her new hours are. From five to 11, kind of clashes. Hopefully Mortimer can come over at 11. Maybe we can skip work. Maybe we can say screw it. We'll see. We'll skip work if Mortimer can come over. And if he can't, then we'll go to work. Cat is making really good life choices with this, like, affair situation. All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we're, we're skipping work. Here he is. <gasps> Chocolates. I seem to remember these go into your Sims inventory and they just, like, don't get used. Or at least I never use them. Yeah, they're chocolate. She's just going to put them on the ground. Ooh, no, you have to eat one. You should like feed one to Mortimer. 
Cheer up. Is he okay? Oh, is Mortimer in a bad mood? Oh, no. I kind of like this idea that he's slumming it with us. I feel so bad because Mortimer and Bella are like my faves. <laughs> I love them. I don't want to mess with stuff with them. That's work. All right, Mortimer. Let's get in the hot tub. Okay. Let's see if it works. It worked one time. I have photographic evidence that it worked. I mean, he brought me chocolates. I feel like that's it's a sign of something. This is what I remember about The Sims 1 is that it's just this like, it's an absolute grind. Well, hopefully that improves our relationship. This might not be the right course of action. Let's see if we can get the genie going again. Save real quick in case something goes horribly wrong. Maybe we'll get love again. <laughs> Hi, I'm not super pleased with what happened last time. Help me out, the genie. Let me work my magic and keep things right again. Shall we make this in the family or in your circle of friends? I don't have family. What happens if I select family? Friends. Oops. Okay, a dog. So we lost friendship with some dog. Okay, so I kind of want to end this on an up note. We will try and see what is going to happen with work. Okay, wait. Go, don't miss the carpool. I missed it. Well, never mind. Let's work. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I didn't mean to miss work. Well, that's fine. That was not the right career move for her anyway. I think that'll be the big end that we have. I think that'll be the ending. It's a down moment, so... We're in a relationship with a married man, which is a major bummer and sucks a lot. And we have bills piling up. We're not going to be able to pay. And we just got fired. So it sucks and everything sucks. And we'll see if we can make a wish on the genie next time. Um, and we'll try and find a new job. And maybe next time we can try out another expansion pack. We'll see. Um, but I think that sure was, it was pretty eventful. That was... That was a lot, so hopefully it goes a lot better next time.